Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sequoia with the Chase Street Renaissance and this video was actually requested by one of my subscribers and she wanted me to go through the math that's involved with uh, candle making. How do you figure out how much wax and how much fragrance oil you're gonna need per candle? Like let's say if you wanted to make one candle, how much wax and how much fragrance oil do you need for that one candle so that you don't have any waste left over? Um, it's already really expensive testing your candles with your wax, your wick and your fragrance oil during your testing process. Um, so if we can kind of mitigate how much we're wasting in other areas, then that is much, much better. So I am going to probably leave the frame here shortly um, so that you can just see the board here. Um, but there are four things that I wanted to kind of um, point out before we get into the math problem. I know everything looks really confusing on the board, but bear with me. I'm going to try to make it as much, make it make as much sense as possible. Um, so here we go. So the first thing, where's my pen? So the first thing is you are always going to use ounces or grams when you are measuring your wax and your fragrance oil. Um, grams obviously breaks ounces down a little bit further. Um, I could see you using grams if you just are better with dealing, better at dealing with grams. Um, or if you have a scale that doesn't have a unit of measure in grams. I have two scales, one that goes down to grams that I just recently got and one that only goes down, I'm sorry, one that goes that goes to fluid ounces and not ounces um, and one that actually does go down to ounces. Um, originally I was using the scale that only measured in fluid ounces and not ounces, which ideally is not the way you want to go. Um, so if you have a scale that doesn't give you an ounces option and it has grams, I would use grams um, because you don't want your math to be thrown off at all if you can help it. Um, so fluid ounces is 0 0.00781 US liquid gallons. Ounces is 0 0.0625 pounds. So one of them measures liquid volume and one, one of them measures in uh, weight. You're going to be measuring your net weight because we're measuring uh, a solid, we're weighing a solid. Um, if you were doing room sprays or if you were doing rediffusers, then you would measure, it would be okay to measure um, in your fluid ounces. But since we're doing candles, we're going to use ounces. Okay, so I brought the camera in a little bit closer. You're going to see me bouncing in and out like this, but that's okay. Um, so there are two things that you're going to need to know to um, plug into your formula here. Your formula being a two-step problem. The first step, you're going to be figuring out your wax, your total net weight in wax. Um, so you're going to need to know your net weight of your vessel. How much does your vessel hold comfortably? Eight ounces, 10 ounces, 11 ounces, 14, it doesn't matter. That's what you're gonna be plugging into your net weight. We're going to use eight ounces. So we're going to take our net weight divided by 100 plus your fragrance oil percent. This is the next thing that you need to know. Uh, to plug into your formula. How much fragrance oil, what is your percentage that you're using in fragrance oil? Um, it varies from wax to wax. I've seen and I've seen people use anywhere from 6% to 14%. Um, I've actually seen people claim that they use 18% in certain waxes. Um, I have not played with any of those quite that high. The highest I've ever gone is 10%. So we are going to use 10% as our fragrance oil percentage. Um, and that is going to equal, like I said, your wax in net, uh, net weight. So then once you figure out your wax, you're going to take your wax, multiply it by your fragrance oil percentage. Um, and that's gonna equal your fragrance oil load. When you get your fragrance oil load, your wax plus your fragrance oil load should equal your net weight. So you should pretty much be starting from the beginning again. Um, so to break this problem down even a little further, you can add your 100% plus, I'm sorry, your 100 plus your fragrance oil percentage. Uh, so you're going to always do 1.10 or 1 or 1.12 for a 12% fragrance load and so on and so forth. If you're using 14%, it would be 1.14, 8%, 1.08. Um, so that just kind of breaks step one down a little bit further. So to break that down, you can see it down here. I wrote it down here. It doesn't really 
make much sense to have it way down here, but this is basically what this will look like. Net weight divided by one point, whatever your fragrance oil percent is, and that will also equal your wax. So once you get your wax, you multiply it by your fragrance oil percent, and that gives you your fragrance oil load. So let's plug actual numbers into it now. So we have our eight ounce net fill jar multiplied, I'm sorry, divided by 1.10, and that equals a 7.27 ounce um, net weight of wax. We take our 7.27 ounces, multiply that by our fragrance oil percent, 0 0.10, and that equals 0.727 ounces in fragrance oil. When I get this, I round up to 0.73, and that will equal my eight ounces. If you don't round up, it'll, it'll equal 7.99, but you get the idea. So I hope that made a little bit of sense to everyone. I know it seems really confusing written down on my dry erase board. It's like walking into a calculus class and you're like, whoa, what's all this stuff on the board? What did I get myself into? But it really is very, very simple once you get into the groove uh, and you start using it more. Uh, you really probably won't even need to write it down in that way. You can just take your calculator, plug in your numbers, and uh, and then go from there. Another question I see a lot is how do you figure out your net weight uh, fill of your, of your vessel? What I do is I just melt some wax and I set my vessel on my scale and I just pour the wax into the vessel until I reach the fill line that I'm comfortable with. Uh, you do have to factor in uh, lids when your lids are sitting down in the vessel so you want to leave enough room so that you're not compromising your wax and your wick um but that's the easiest way i found some people do use water and they measure it that way or they weigh it that way and then they convert the weight of the water into the weight of the wax and i don't know how to do that so i won't get into that but i have seen people uh or heard people claim that they do it that way also but just keep in mind when you are buying vessels online, if you see that their net uh, weight or their fill is measured in fluid ounces, just understand that that was measured with water and not wax. So if you buy the vessel, um, I know that there's a vessel that I bought from Dream Vessels. Uh, I believe they're the Novas. And I think the net, the, the fill was eight ounces or nine ounces or something like that. So I bought them and then when I got them home, the actual net weight fill for the wax was 6.5. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're buying vessels. Um, so like I said, I hope that made sense to you guys. I hope it wasn't too confusing. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe, um, ask me questions. I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. And if you're not new here, thanks for watching.